On this video today, we're going to see what the trash control does on the Kawasaki. And there's only one way I can think to do it. people don't really know how it works or what its actual purpose is so I figure what better way to demonstrate traction control than by actually losing traction you know it's a burnout is exactly that <laughs> so the way this system is set up is it doesn't have any type of wheelie control which is what I initially thought it had but it doesn't actually have any wheelie control basically if it detects you're doing a wheelie it shuts the bike down completely and it'll just bring it down very harshly. Um, it actually has happened to me a couple times where the front wheel got a little bit too high and the system just kind of said, uh-uh, shut everything down. You had to roll off the throttle a little bit and then roll back into it. If you're not doing a wheelie though, the traction control does intervene and it's actually pretty neat how it works. So this is K-Track or whatever. I mean, all these companies come out with generic things so they could put their name in it. So. It just stands for Kawasaki's Traction Control. And the, the way this system works is through the select buttons, you can scroll through and you have four basic settings. You have the most restrictive being level three, down to Traction Control being completely off. So in this video, I have my phone set up here. And I'm just gonna record that while I'm doing a burnout. And then you guys will see the on screen here. Let me turn this on real quick. My Kawasaki's howling at me. Still one of the coolest screens there, I think. So the traction control, what you're gonna see here, I don't know if I can get it. What you're gonna see on this screen here is there's gonna be a little bar. I don't know if I can get it very well. It's gonna be a little bar that, that's next to this number here. So again, this number goes from three all the way down to off. And uh, you're gonna see a little bar beside it. And as it's losing traction, you're, you're going to see that bar kind of spike. And when it spikes the whole way, that's when the system's going to fully activate and actually work to limit the slip on the rear wheel. So I'm pretty anxious to see how this works and, and to show you guys as best I can how this system works and have a little fun doing so. So I'm gonna get suited up and we're gonna have some fun.
Now guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how informative this video really is, but it was an excuse to do a burnout and <laughs> I don't really need much convincing to do one. That was a lot of fun. I mean, you could clearly see that the more restrictive it was, the less I had the ability to actually spin and get wheel speed out of this tire. So, I mean, it does work. One takeaway I can take from this is if you are going to use trash control, guys, make sure that you stay in it because the only way it works is if you're on the throttle. If you're off the throttle, that's just like hitting the brakes. So trash control really is designed to have a maintained throttle. I mean, if you take your hand off that throttle, trash control isn't doing its thing anymore. But uh, I don't even care if this video is very informative, guys. It was a heck of a lot of fun and now I definitely need a new tire. Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully it brightened your day. See you in the next video. Motorcycles create less mess.